Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, bringing you a video, and today we are going through all of the camos and how those are going to work here for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and the crossover between Modern Warfare 2 weapons and camos and Modern Warfare 3 weapons and camos and how that's going to work. So there was a recent blog post released today. We'll be going through that. I'll link that down below. Also, if you missed any of the recent videos, we covered all of the weapons that will be available at launch of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 here this Friday on November 10th, as well as all of the aftermarket parts which will be available at launch. We also covered all of the weapons that we know are in the game and have been confirmed through different social media posts, um, potentially inadvertently, that are not coming at launch. So we're expecting these most likely due to leakers, probably Season 1 and 2 in Season 1 and 2 Reloaded. But we know they're in the game for certain because we've seen them um, in official uh, Call of Duty material on the social media posts. So those are going to be coming. So I did those videos over the past couple days. So go ahead and check out those out on the channel. I'll try and leave those links down below as well. But today we're going over the launch camos, cosmetic customization, unlocks, challenges, things like that. So I'll link that blog down below in the description as well. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And we're going to be leading up to a really nice Modern Warfare 3 birthday live stream as soon as the multiplayer releases midnight on 12 a.m. on November 10th. So that's also my birthday. It's going to be a fun time. Definitely uh, turn on post notifications, come by, hang out for the live stream. It's going to be a long night of streaming, but I'll try and jack up on enough caffeine to power through. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So how's this going to work? First off, this is a lot of camos, right? We're getting probably some of the most camos with the inclusion of the Mono Warfare 2 camos, over 900 camos, I believe, here in the game right off the bat with different challenges uh, with the preseason of season uh, before season one hits in December, which I believe is December 5th around that timeline. So how this is going to work is there's going to be different challenges. So there's going to be two different types of challenges. There's going to be daily challenges and then there's going to be career challenges. So all these challenges can be performed in multiplayer, zombies, war zone, etc. Um, in multiplayer, there's going to be three daily challenges that are for distinct different categories. So uh, a general category challenge uh, may require um, you to do kills within a certain play style, like seven headshots with with assault rifles. The same kind of types of challenges we've seen. Weapon challenges focused on uh, specific weapons themselves, like get kills with um, a specific LMG. And then you have uh, spe special challenges to encourage exploration of specific conditions, equipment, field upgrades, things like that. So. By completing all these, you're going to get special rewards. If you complete all the weekly challenges, you'll get special rewards for that. And then you also have career challenges. So in addition to daily challenges, there's going to be an assortment of multiplayer available in multiplayer, zombies, and Warzone. There's going to be career challenges available at launch. So um, some of these are going to be such as a match with, with wins, kills, etc., when it comes to nat um, naturally by simply playing the game over a course of time instead of focusing on accomplishing a short-term challenge over a week. So you'll be able to work on those um, for the long haul, those types of challenges. And again, once season one and future seasons become available, expect additional challenges to unlock um, as the ranks go up, prestigious, things like that. So going into weekly challenges, how these are going to work is every week during the preseason and the following seasons, um, a new set of challenges will become available at launch. Expect there to be seven multiplayer and seven zombie weekly challenges. So there's going to be separate ones for multiplayer zombies, and it's probably when Warzone comes out there, I'll have a separate uh, category for Warzone um, camos as well, or maybe that'll just tie into the multiplayer. So challenges every uh, available every week. Expect, expect something similar when Warzone launches season one. So there should be a separate category for multiplayer and zombies for the special uh, Warzone challenges for unique camos as well. So every week, Challenges award XP upon completion. If you complete five weekly challenges for a week, you will unlock special attachments, attachments potentially aftermarket parts, or um, a weapon as a weekly award, different cosmetics, blueprints, camos, things like that. So that's how those are going to work for the weekly challenges. Um, armory unlock challenges. There's going to be a variety of different things. When you reach level 25, expect to unlock the armory unlock challenge system, uh, begin to progress com and complete challenges unlocking new items there's a variety of items that you can earn through the armory unlock challenge which you can view in the armory unlocks menu so again there's going to be different avenues for unlocks here um, to unlock the weapons perks aftermarket parts kill streaks attachments things like that you can unlock all these through these different avenues as well 
So that should be interesting when we get our hands on that to kind of see how that's going to work. Um, but again, you're getting rewards for doing pretty much anything in the game. There's always going to be rewards for no matter what you're doing. You can choose to do daily and careers, all of this stuff. So um, cosmetic customization. So cosmetic customization, um, again, there's going to be things like charms, the blueprints. They didn't really go into reticle design um, that I saw in this blog post, but I think that's something that we, we heard was probably coming to the game. Um, for whatever reason, it wasn't in Modern Warfare 2, but I believe it was in this. So weapon camo overview. So prepare to ramp up with weapon camo mastery. The ingredients for your legacy weapon, weaponry from Modern Warfare 2 adds an, an impressive camo grind for multiplayer um, and a customized, customized zombie camos as well. So this is what we've seen in previous Call of Duties. You, multiplayer camos, zombie camos, and it seems like they're by what they're saying, there's going to be um, different camos awarded for different uh, milestones within Battle Royale as well, or Warzone. So, base camos, multiplayer, and Warzone. Modern Warfare 3 introduces a magnificent selection of additional weapon camos for you to unlock for all, um, and all the base camos from either from either game can be applied to any Modern Warfare 3 weapon. So, this is actually big news. I heard conflicting uh, things about this over the past couple of days, but all of the Modern Warfare 2 camos, with the exception of, I believe, the... Um, Whatever the top tier camo is in Modern Warfare 2. I didn't I didn't do like Damascus, whatever the top tiers are. Um, I think the masteries are available, but all those camos from Modern Warfare 2 weapons will be available on the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. So that's a big thing here. So they have brand new camo sets. Also, there's gonna be 18 different camo sets in Modern Warfare 3 weapon camos, which should be unlocked from playing multiplayer zombies with the Modern Warfare 3 weapon. So there's different sets here that are new as well as additional returning ones that we've seen in previous Call of Duties. Um, like the Modern Warfare 2, all the Modern Warfare 2 camo sets, which I believe they're going to be adding additional camos to as well. So completionist camos, multiplayer, uh, zombies, and mastery. So Modern Warfare 3 also introduces a total of 12 additional completionist camos to unlock in three sets of four, as well as four completionist camos from Modern Warfare 2. So they're adding Modern, more Modern Warfare 2 camos, which is pretty cool. These have rules regarding which weapon you can be applied. So again, these are just going to be challenges, completionist camos, um, multiplayer, carry forward above. So Modern Warfare 2's weapons, gold, platinum, polytomic, and Orion are going to carry forward. Multiplayer has uh, new uh, mastery camos as well. So Modern Warfare 3 weapons, you're going to get categories for gilded, or the camos for gilded, forged, priceless, interstellar. You're also going to get new zombie camos, which are going to be golden ivory, spinal husk, Arach, Arachnidia, I believe. I'm probably just butchering that. And then Bioluminescent, I believe it is, or Bio, Bioluminescent, yeah. So interesting names. I the, I don't really like the way any of the masteries look, but the base camos look pretty sweet. You're also going to get new uh, zombie camos available here, Golden Enigma, Zycon Scale, and just a bunch of different crazy names here um that are going to be available some of them look really cool some of them are a little extra but also I've, I've always liked some of the zombie camos that you get so there's always going to be some really nice ones that are more grinder there so for the modern warfare 2 multiplayer weapons and camos like i said earlier all of the individual weapon camos and completionist camos and mastery camo challenges from modern warfare 2 carry forward into modern warfare Three. So all camos, with the exception of Modern Warfare 2 completionist camos being gold, platinum, polytomic, and Orion, every Modern Warfare 2 base camo, weapon camo, can be applied to any Modern Warfare 3 weapon. So all those weapons minus the completionist, the completionist will still be in the game for the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, but they won't be able to be applied to the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. But all the base camos... For the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, you can apply to the Modern Warfare 3 weapons, which is awesome. So that's really cool. Um, and again, that's where we've heard a lot of conflicting things. So this blog confirms that you'll be able to do that. No matter which game or weapon or camo originated in, uh, that means you can place Modern Warfare 2 base camo on a Modern Warfare 3 weapon and vice versa. So the Modern Warfare 3 camos, base camos will be available on the Modern Warfare 2 gun. So this is really, really good news for customization. And uh, I'm pumped <laughs> to... Uh, play around with this, these camo sets, and see what, what this is going to look like, especially we have some really nice camos here, all the solids, things like that, really good camos for Modern Warfare 2. I thought it introduced a lot of really great camo selections, um, so I'm excited to see all those cross over, as well as more additional camos added to the existing categories that we saw in Modern Warfare 2, as well as 
the 18 additional categories for Modern Warfare 3. So we're going to have well over 900 camos here, which is just crazy. So specific weapon examples here. Let's assume you've unlocked some or all of the following M4 camos from Modern Warfare 2. Um, so specific camos, the four specific M4 camos unlock scale, desert hybrid, dark leaves, and urban, which are from Modern Warfare 2. All those will be available. Completionist camos, the four M4 camos available for every Modern Warfare 2 weapon, gold, platinum, and Orion, just not cross over to Modern Warfare 3 weapons. All those are going to be available. Um, and then all camo challenges carry over from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. So you can still work on those challenges with the Modern Warfare 2 weapons in Modern Warfare 3. So that's big news. This is, I know a lot of people are talking about DLC, this and that, but this is really ideally, honestly, I feel like what the community is kind of asking for is like, let's combine a lot of the stuff into one big title, which is what they're kind of doing here. Whether that was on purpose or a last minute pivot because they needed to make more money, get a title out, whatever it was, this is still more, this is closer to like the Call of Duty online type thing that we, that we have seen. We just like all the assets from all of our favorite games, all in one game. So this is pretty good from what I'm seeing. They're at least going in the, in the right direction here which I really like. So multiplayer, or excuse me, Modern Warfare 3 weapons, multiplayer camos. There's going to be multiplayer individual camos, just a bunch of different ones here. Camo challenges and variation. Um, in Modern Warfare 2, the base challenges were relatively similar across different weapon types. In Modern Warfare 3, base camos and challenges are unique to each weapon category. So for example, individual SMGs will, will have a different set of base challenges compared to individual shotguns. LMGs and so on. This promotes a variety in gameplay and challenges. <clears throat> excuse me, challenges have been um, honed to better suit playstyle each weapon type. So this is good news. Um, makes it a lot easier for the weapon type and unlocking a wider variety of camos as well. So there's going to be just a lot. They go through a lot of different camos here. Battle Warfare Three and multiplayer weapon camo challenge summary. Expect this just for the Modern Warfare 3. Expect the following additional camos on top of existing base completionist camos from Modern Warfare 2. Over 140 base camos. You have four new mastery completion camos, over 140 mastery challenge cards and emblems, 37 new mastery charms. So, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 weapon zombies camos. Um, there's going to be a 77 Modern Warfare 2 weapons, just a lot of different camos for all these. So, Modern Warfare 2 weapons, zombie camos, again, all, all the zombie, they'll have all their own challenges, same as multiplayer, that can cross over um, to the different weapons as well. There's going to be well over 900 total uh, camos here at the launch of the game and more as the uh, seasons roll out. So I'll leave that link down below for the blog post. It goes through and shows a lot of these different examples. A lot of the camos look really, really nice. They use the M4 for an example here for most of these. So you're seeing a lot of the Modern Warfare 3 camos on the M4. You're seeing some of them on the ACR, things like that. So I think it overall looks really, really good. There's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of different camos. Um, like I said, over 900 of these things. So this is going to be pretty crazy. You're just going to get a lot of camos, which is good. A lot of different customizations. It's going to be really good for Frank and Smithing, different blueprint parts, things like that. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think down below. Again, this is it may be, it, there's a lot there to digest and i think we're really gonna need to get our hands on it to see how those challenges work what they are even though they show some examples it's still um with the amount of camos and challenges it's going to be kind of crazy <laughs> to uh to see it until we get our hands on it so i'm pretty excited big shout out to all the members of the channel we have members um memberships available down below there's a join button on the page as well as link in the description so big shout out to our members man named nobody asan v07 pdx jake ram rapster k dog 350 aiden flores this justin fps cannon fodder and noodley boyo so i did put a post in discord regarding merchandise i'm sorting that out right now so that stuff will be available here very shortly you guys get a little bit of a discount if you are from the members as well as different perks. Uh, but again, best way to support the channel, like the video, subscribe, watch the ads, and share with friends. Till next time, this is Buffering Gaming with a lot of camo information here for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Be sure to stay by and check out the live stream at the launch of the game as soon as it goes live here on YouTube. Till next time, this is Buffering Gaming, out.